on tour with Yellow Wolf, DJing and all that. How's that going? It's going great. We're uh, kind of opening up or co-headlining with Wiz Khalifa. Um, so, so far we've done a couple cities in uh, Pennsylvania, Baltimore. Show's been going real good. So, so I wanted to ask, like, you were the DJ who hosted The Prescription with Pill and Trunk Music with Yellow Wolf, and those two mixtapes really were, like, instrumental in those two guys' careers, and they're, like, two of the hottest emerging artists in the country right now. Like, you know, you dropped them both in January. I wanted to ask, like, something about January, or, like, what's up? Like, tell us a little bit about those tapes, or, like, what's going on, man? Well, I kind of I kind of like to strike when everybody else is sleeping. Okay. You know? Like, nobody's really like, ooh, January. That's when everybody's going to be in the stores trying to buy records, you know? So... I think um, a lot of people, I think it's just thinking counterintuitive to what most people do. If everybody wants to drop on a holiday or something, I want to drop when nobody else is dropping. And I can have all the all the space that I want as far as blog coverage, radio play, and all that stuff. So, And how'd you uh, connect with those guys? Like, was there something about them that made you say, I want to do this mixtape? Um, Derek, White Boy D, hooked me up with Phil. He was working with him. I met them through Killer Mike. And uh, he played me a record uh, called On the Outside Looking In. Okay. And I was like, damn, this shit is dope. So we did the tape, and I really matched hard for him on Boulevard Street, my website. Um, matched with him. And then uh, Yellow Wolf. I hooked up with him through J Dirt, DJ Dirty uh, from Baller's Eve. Yeah, cool and, dude, um, man. We just kind of hooked up one day and said he was doing a project. So you mostly like getting with artists like through people you know and trust, or you like if you hear something good, you're going to reach out to, or how's that go? I like to find stuff. You know, yeah. people give you stuff all day, and I listen to it, but I like to go out and just find stuff in my own time. Because usually what I like, I, I think I have a pretty good ear as far as what people want to hear. So, I know you're a producer. Like, you produce any tracks that we should be looking out for that were already on Yellow Wolf or Pill? Or? Um, yeah, I have two records on Pill, Music and Coasting. Those were on the refill tape that he did with uh, Ski and Empire. And uh, hopefully I have some on this Yellow Wolf project. Um, Jackie Chan, I got one coming out of his EP. That's what's up. Um, I got a bunch of records on Freddie Gibbs coming out too. That's what's up. That music cool. track with Pill is dope, man. Appreciate it, man. It's a really smooth track, man. Yeah, that's that was the first record we did together, so. It turned out great. So I've been seeing you a lot of music videos too, man. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get my cameo on. <laughs> I felt like I was underselling my brand. You know, people knew Burn won the sound effect, but they didn't know it was me. And, you know, didn't know it was white or whatever. So the shit, so. <laughs> I figured, man, let me go and put my face out there. I'm always around if you go to studios or anything like that. You know who I am. But, you know, it's just the average person who has heard a burn one mix, they've heard Chicken Talk or the Drill Tape or anything. They wouldn't, you know, know to associate my face with it. So that's why with the Starlito tape, I was like, man, you know, I'm going to put my face on there. It was actually his idea. And I was like, all right, man, I'll run with it. For the cover art? Yeah, for the cover. So I think for now I'm definitely going to put myself at least on the back of it. Yeah. Just so people can see my face and. No, for all branding purposes. Oh, that cover turned out nice too, dude. That was yeah, a nice, nice cover. Uh, shout out to Gully Originals. Um, he hooked that one up. That's what's up. So what's next for you, man? Um, what should I'm, we be looking out for? I'm about to start working on um, albums. They're really albums because they're not mixtapes anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to try to get better distribution through iTunes. i got an iTunes plug now. So we're putting out like 10 tracks, all original music. We own the music, so when we put it out, we can make money off of it. Um, I think people don't have a problem spending money on music. It's just the quality of the music and how it's presented. You know, some people don't know how to put a uh, don't know how to properly package right. a full album um, and make it look like something you should spend money on. Nobody's gonna buy a CD with your Sharpie marker on it, you know. But if it's nice, you know, got a nice cover and you can tell it's been mixed and time's been put into it and it's dope, you know, they're like, okay, I can appreciate that. 